is bitterness can take us down that route, but unfiltered joy that's not hitched to anything and is in a fairy tale realm can take us too far down the other path. And as Christians, as believers of Jesus, we need to make sure that our worldview and the way we see things, the way our heart is geared, is not informed and influenced by social media and by the things around us, but by God's word. Welcome to this week's edition of Ask the Pastor. This is our weekly segment where we take our Sunday sermon and we dig into that passage. We go a little bit deeper and we ask, how can we practically apply this to our lives? This week, we are coming down the home stretch of the book of Hebrews. In Hebrews chapter 12, in the back half of that book, we started exploring this section that really deals with how we can settle for less than what God has for us. That God has a plan for our lives. God has all these things, but often we take a different road and we follow either our own sin or our own intuition, our own abilities, and it leads us down the wrong path, just like it led Esau down the wrong path in the Old Testament. But there's this interesting phrase right at the start of the section we looked at, and, it, and the author of Hebrews says, don't let a root of bitterness take hold of you. And that, just thinking about that, and we, we preached on this passage as a whole, but I want to take a little bit of time in talking about this root of bitterness, because I personally believe there's a root of bitterness in many church people and many Christians in our world today. You look around, and especially if you're in the West and you're in America, that you look at our current state of our country, and it's pretty easy to be bitter. If you're conservative, you're bitter about how crazy you think the liberals are. If you're a liberal, you're bitter and crazy uh, how the, uh, the conservatives are. And if you're in the middle, you're just depressed because you look at the world burning around you. And it's not hard to look at all the craziness happening in our world today. You could say the moral degradation of our world, the, the rewiring of our brains by smart devices, all these things. You could go down these paths and you could look at our world and say things are bad. And things are bad on a large scale, but sometimes things are bad on a personal scale. And the, the worse those get, sometimes we don't want to fix the problem. We just want to be bitter about the problem. We want to be angry about it. We want to be mad about it. We just want to sit and sulk in our situation. And some of this may be defined by age, but if I, we're honest, I think some of it's defined by the content and the stuff that we consume. So before we maybe get into a solution of this, let, let, just, let's have a fun exercise and think about this in almost on a scale. Let's use social media platforms to illustrate this. Because when we take this root of bitterness, it, it can lead us down really far down one path. And I would say the more you let a root of bitterness grow in your heart, what it can lead to is what I would almost call a cynical nihilist. And what that means is that you are just cynical about everything in the world and you're a nihilist, meaning that it's all worthless. It might all burn it down. And we can almost be a little nihilistic as Christians sometimes because we know this world is not our home. We know eventually we'll get to heaven. But if you go too far on that, you could say, let's just let the world burn down right now. And I just want to be with Jesus, which we're not called to do. We still have to further the gospel and the kingdom. But you can be the cynical nihilist if you go too far down in this root of bitterness. Or you can go the exact opposite. And I think on the other side of this, there's people who maybe they're not bitter at all, which is a good thing but maybe they're also not critical at all of our world. And it's almost like they have their head in the clouds. They think it, everything is great. And they're almost like a blind optimist. Now it's great to be optimistic about the world, but if you're blind to the problems of the world, then there's some issues because there's discernment that has to take place. So you don't want to be on either side of this. Now think of this from a social media. And this will be a little fun experiment, I think, that if you think about the most nihilistic, the cynical, far bitter side, just look at social media sites we have. I would say on the one very extreme of that would be something like Reddit. Now I'm already gonna make people mad, all right? If you like to Reddit, okay, maybe, hopefully you actually understand that, or you're just gonna get really cynical and nihilistic and you wanna burn this YouTube video down. But if you look at Reddit, there's some good stuff on there. I've, I've read some threads on how to fix things in my house. But if you're honest, there's a lot of stuff that is just terrible and depraved and depressing and going down to pits 
that just reveals the brokenness of humanity. You go on the very opposite end of the spectrum. Now we're gonna we're gonna play devil's advocate and poke the other side of the bear. On the blind optimist of just not grounded in reality, you have apps like TikTok. Now, TikTok, let's be real, it's brainwashing us, and, and there's so many things that you can go on a rant about how bad it is, but in the surface, it seems like most of the content that comes in, it's like the world has so many issues, but it's okay because we can do a dance routine to it. And it's almost like ignoring what's happening around us. Take it in a little bit further, okay? So maybe you're like, all right, I'm not on Reddit, so I'm not going to burn the world down. I'm not on TikTok because I'm not young and cool enough, and I know there's problems in the world. But then there's let's maybe hit apps that are maybe a little closer to home. On the more nihilistic side, if you step in from Reddit a little bit, you have X, or formerly known as Twitter. Now, full transparency, this is probably where I spend the most amount of my time of any app, and probably not for good reasons. I used to just use it for sports news and updates on superhero movies, and now it's devolved into everything else from politics to drama with denominations and church and everything else and it's just a crazy field of honestly often negativity pointing the fingers trying to rile people up and usually it's not uplifting across the other pond that's a little bit less idealistic and crazy and in the clouds than tiktok is instagram everything is filters Everything is putting the best foot forward. Everything is blogs or influencers that look like they have their life all together when if you dig a little bit through the makeup and through the reality, it's not as nice as it seems. And here's what I think all this kind of comes to. And why we say this is when we talk about this idea of a root of bitterness is bitterness can take us down that route, but unfiltered joy that's not hitched to anything and is in a fairy tale realm can take us too far down the other path. And as Christians, and as believers of Jesus, we need to make sure that our worldview in the way we see things, the way our heart is geared, is not informed and influenced by social media and by the things around us, but by God's word. And when we go to God's word, we see there's middle ground. We see that there's discernment that we need to dissect our things in the world good are things how they should be? Should we speak out against things that are not right, that are sinful in a big sphere, but also in the small sphere we have? Should we recognize them instead? Of, should we make sure we're doing actionable steps to address them rather than just putting a filter over it, rather than dancing through the troubles? But at the same time, do we not just sit there and dwell in it? to get angry about it, to get bitter about it, to be nihilistic about it, to where we just want it all to burn down and we want the next stage of life to come. And in this book of Hebrews, we've been talking all about how Jesus is superior to any person, place, or thing. He is superior to any social media platform. He is superior to any worldview that our current culture thrusts upon us. And whether you are in a nihilistic mood whether you're in a blind optimist mood or anywhere in between, when we fix our eyes on Jesus, just as Hebrews 11 says, we can run the race with endurance to keep pressing on towards him, to keep fighting towards him so that we don't get swept away by the trend of the day, but we can hitch our faith to the unmoving savior in Jesus Christ. Hey, thank you guys for joining us. We'll see you next time.